I know he's smiling down from heaven and he see that the things that he did, it made an impact on the people that he had in his life and an impact they made on his life as well. I would also like to thank the Colorado Hall of Fame for inducting him into such a prestigious class of 2023. It's a very humbling event and it's a great uh, thing that they did because Damaris always stated that when, once he retired, he didn't want to be forgotten. And this opportunity right here ensures that he won't be forgotten. I know that everybody love him. I mean, everything I hear, everything I see, I mean, that's nothing but love, and that's all he wanted. He had family on his body. You know, he loved his family. He loved everybody. You know, everybody knew of how much, you know, he was just so humble at whatever he did. And I just, I just miss him. Obviously, he had an impact on Peyton Manning. He's given out the scholarship tonight. Uh, what did that mean that he wanted to honor your son's memory that way? Actually, when I heard about it, I cried. I was like, wow, Peyton is such an awesome individual. Him and his wife, Ashley, and I, I'm so grateful to them for the things that they have done for Damaris since his uh, transitioning. It is only fitting that our first 1888 recipient is awarded on the same night. The number 88 is being inducted into the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame. The uh, recipient had to have overcome major adversity like Demarius did as a young person growing up in Georgia, uh, a high school football player uh, here in the Colorado area that overcame adversity. And our first winner is uh, named Ben Miner. We're gonna give him uh, the scholarship. It's a $10,000 grant to go toward his college education. Ben has overcome tremendous adversity and, and persevered. I'm so proud of what Ben has overcome in his life, just like Demarius, to become a beacon for others. And it's so fitting that he is the very first 1888 scholarship recipient. Demarius would be so proud of you, Ben. Please join me in welcoming Ben Miner to the stage. It's a big honor to um, be here in front of you guys to be able to represent DT like this. I, I, I had a few years of being able to watch him and he was just you know, as I, as I could see, as I could watch. He's just a great person, great guy, great football player. So, How have you been doing this last year? I'm sure uh, a lot of good days, a lot of bad days. Yes, sir. Um, the, the emotions come. Some days they're good. Some days they're bad. Some days I'm in between. But I have family members that's very supportive. I have fans, you know, that DT have his fans that support me. So those individuals have helped me gotten through this transition. Uh, did it feel even hard just like coming back to Denver? Yes. When I got to the airport, me and my sister and my daughter, we all started to cry because I started to think about all the memories we created while he was here and while we came to visit. He knew that love would conquer everything and love would would conquer and change the world and his symbol was one love i know she appreciated and i definitely do appreciate that you know he's being honored in this way and um that his legacy is going to go on forever and ever uh thank you